On October 24, 2005, Hurricane Wilma, a Category 5 storm, made landfall at Cape Romano, Florida. Two days later, Crays are deployed an iSense's helicopter and an unmanned service vehicle to survey damage in parts of Marco Island, 11 miles from landfall, with assistance from the National Science Foundation's Industry Center on Safety, Security, Rescue Technology. The unmanned surface vehicle, or USV, was an AOS-1 prototype built by Dr. Eric Steimel for environmental science studies. It was modified to carry a sound metric dual frequency identification sonar, also known as a Ditson acoustic camera. While operating the partially destroyed fishing pier by the State Road 951 bridge, the Ditson showed the state of underwater structures, schools of small fish swimming by in real time, And as a testament of the ability of the Ditson to see through the sediment and turbid waters, the USV found the railings of the collapsed section of the pier. However, detecting underwater objects and obstacles is only half of the problem of deploying a USV. Inspection of damage to seawalls, docks, and bridges requires vision above the waterline as well as below. This poses a new type of simultaneous localization and mapping challenge using sparse acoustical camera readings with surface range data. Operations close to structures pose many problems for autonomy for both the UAV and USV. Onboard cameras for teleoperation do not provide the larger contextual view. Waypoint navigation using GPS will be insufficient to allow the USV to maneuver successfully within pilings. Fortunately, in many cases, the UAV can easily provide such external views, giving the operator a better situation awareness for navigation. And the UAV can serve as a wireless network relay, improving communication. USVs can also be used to find safe lanes of travel and to detect hazardous material spills, such as fuel leaks. Current work is focusing on constructing a new USV and adding appropriate levels of autonomy. We are working with our industry partners, iSenses and Freedom for Wireless, to extend the current UAV design and adding a mesh network for reliable communications in time for the 2006 hurricane season.